Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright and I am the resourceful CEO. So what does it mean to streamline operations? You may have heard this term many times before, but you don't know what in the heck that means. Well, today I'm here to talk about it from my perspective. Streamlining operations is taking your operational infrastructure and making it much more efficient and effective. So for those of you who don't have much infrastructure at all, it's actually installing it. And for those of you that have it, but it's not working for you, it's making a number of changes. So for example, your operations, you can have, uh, let's break that down. You can have sales operations, marketing operations, uh, overall operations, HR, um, finance, and you look at how things are done and how to minimize the number of times that you have to deal with something and still achieve the same result. What you the, the goal of streamlining operations is to deliver high quality, consistent results across everyone. So if there's, for instance, five people working in customer service, by streamlining operations, properly, not just with an idea of cost cutting, but with an idea of being effective and efficient and delivering on the customer satisfaction that you want to achieve, then all five of those CSRs, customer service representatives, will have similar customer service ratings, assuming, uh, or customer satisfaction ratings, assuming that they've uh, you've hired them for similar characteristics and you've put them through the same training and so on. So that's what it is. It's not like in a lot of companies that I go into, there might be two CSRs who are really gay, great, two, two who are um, mediocre and one who's just bad. <laughs> and so it's, is that person uh, delivering horrible results because they just don't know what to do. Uh, maybe they should be in a different role. Or is it that the person is delivering horrible results because they're um, they're just not meant to be there at the company at all? So this is by, by streamlining operations, by putting in the infrastructure. And by infrastructure, I just mean systems and processes policies, systems, processes, these written things that you do so that um, written or video, it can be, you know, you can onboard people by having them watch videos. They don't have to sit there and read everything all the time. <laughs> but it's basically making sure that everyone follows the same procedures. It's not, this is not to make things bureaucratic or to strip out um, any kind of uh, creativity. No, it's to make sure that you deliver consistent, high quality results that are effective and efficient. And I always say effective more than efficient because you can be highly efficient at something, but totally ineffective. So if the goal is to deliver high quality customer, I mean, to, to, to get really high scores on your customer satisfaction surveys, and you set up these processes where people get things done quickly, but the customer satisfaction so scores are very low, well, you've been efficient, but you've been highly ineffective. So the main thing is effectiveness. And then after you make sure that everything is effective, then you go for efficiency. First, effectiveness. Second, efficiency. <laughs> So that is the quick and dirty on streamlining operations. I know I need to talk more about the actual process of doing so, but I don't want to overwhelm you. I will discuss that in a separate video. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the Resourceful CEO. And in the comments, let me know what kinds of things you'd like for me to talk about, to educate you about. That's what I'm here for. Thank you very much and you have a wonderful day.